letting people come visit us, but yet keeping what's here the same as it is. Yeah. And, and whatever you may think of it, for, from its political ramifications, the net ban really had an impact on this community. Oh, it had when a it hit. huge, yeah. huge impact. It really hurt us. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we got some pictures. Um, because a few years ago, a, a film was shot here, a movie, a, uh, an updated version of uh, Great Expectations, mm -hmm. and uh, that was really, it was really a big deal around here, wasn't it? Well, it was exciting for us because, of course, Hollywood coming to Cortez isn't your everyday occurrence, but um, they filmed it right next door, and it, it was really exciting. The people were nice, and it was a great learning experience. So Ethan Hawke, Gwyneth Paltrow, Anne Bancroft, De Niro. Robert Did I get De Niro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was, must have been, and then you told, you told me a few minutes ago, another, can we talk about that, another film? Well, I can. I don't know if they want to. But, but, but <laughs> another film has recently been done here? Mm -hmm. It's called Out of Time, I believe, and it's Denzel Washington. And um, I don't know a lot about the film, but they, they did shoot down at two or three properties down, and I think it comes out this winter sometime. Wow. That is too cool. Yeah, well, he, so so the world nice. is discovered. Oh, you met him? Uh, well, briefly. Really? Yeah. You met Denzel? <gasps> yeah. Oh, <okay. laughs> cool, cool. Hey, wait, wait, you know what, guys? What's what? that, Russell? You know we've been giving up the, this address for uh, people to send in their viewer favorites? Are they doing oh, no. it? Yeah, we've got a ton of stuff. Yeah. Good, good, a ton good, of stuff. Good. We, we are book. We can book this show through, through like, next next November, and we don't have to put any effort <laughs> forward. If you've got a favorite you'd like for us to visit, call us at 813-870-9875, uh, or go to our website, goodday at WTVT.com, and tell us where your favorite place is, and we'll do our best to get over there and show it off. What do you think about that? Love it. Love it? Love it. Where Lo would you like to send Russell? You don't want me to answer that. We're going to be seeing my favorite what? later on. Man. Oh, that's right. We yeah. have some favorite moments. And then, oh, and then also, we're, we're, we have another favorite that we're going to a place to, a kayaking place that gets us to a place. And then Tom has a favorite moment from Good Day. And also, Anne. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got, uh, remember uh, Steve Yared's uh, big uh, yes. cobia? Yes. There's some cobia at the station. We'll be showing that off later on because it got smoked and he sent it over yesterday. Oh, so, oh that'll be mm, fun. So uh, <laughs> we got a lot going on. So we'll see you on the next few minutes. All right. All Thank right. you, sir. All right. Well, you Very sure good. do. I feel like I should be an announcer to say this cold and flu season got you down. Uh, for me, you guys bring it in, clean it, and, uh, and sell it right here. That's right. All right. Um, there are a couple of things we're going to try. You guys ready for this? We're ready. Go ahead. What, what do you right, mean, try? Well, we're, gonna, we're not going to eat. We're going to try some, uh, you want to some, some, uh, we're going to devein a shrimp. Yep. Yes. Oh, right. you know, I always hated shrimp first. that. What? I always hate doing that. It kind of grosses me out. Well, but there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a deveining tool. Oh, look That's at that right. Thing. And I was oh, concerned about gosh. letting you use it, but oh. you think everyone I'll be okay? said you might be all right. Okay, what do I do here? Okay. Pick well, up the shrimp. Pick up the shrimp. <laughs> Right. Hold it steady. Hold it steady. Insert the pointy thing. Oh, that's what it's called. That's the official <laughs> name of the shrimp that's debating the tool. Pointy the tool. pointy thing. All right, and then Go what? Go down the, yeah. the back side of the shrimp <laughs> and just push it through. Dr. Lubin's not And you'll pull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, now what? And pull the shell right off. See how easy? And look, all deep Look at that. We'll, we'll look get, at rid that. Of that, get rid of that little piece. Yeah. 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 That, that ain't stuff. bad. That ain't bad. Yeah. All right. Look, mine looks better. Yeah, yours doesn't. Yeah. But I'm, I'm a rookie. I'm a rookie. Professional versus amateur. All right. Now what? Now this okay. is this is I'm told is tough. Well, it's worrisome for you to be holding a tool like this, but pick up the oyster knife and the pick, oyster. Pick up the oyster knife and the oyster. All right. All right. Be careful. Now the key is. I'm pe learning. People are always trying to to like jab at this, and that's not what you want to do. You want Try to wedge it. in here at the end. Is that the end? Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So with a twisting motion. No, be careful. Be You're not wearing a glove. Be, be careful, careful honey. Yeah. I couldn't. Well, I was told this is hard. And it is hard. Oh, I you know, I, I really, I'm glad I was wearing the glove just then, because we, it was like they would have been one of those terrible household bagel accidents. Wow, you did no, it. Have her do not it again. Great. Do that. Can you do that one real fast, and we're going to watch you um, wear the glove? Yeah. Do it real fast. I might name careful. myself. It, it, and if something goes wrong, you ask for it. Oh! Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Oh, she's good. We're taking her to New Orleans. <laughs> You're with us on the next trip. <laughs> on the, all right. That's it for here. When we come back, we're going kayaking. That's another one of our great escapes. Uh, Colin, we, you got we have, something? Yeah, one more thing, Russell. I want you to uh, go back to February 1995. I mean, In we're going mind. back to the That's State Fair. Oh. And this, yeah, this was my favorite. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh! God. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there it was. Who could oh, forget no. Russell experiencing the ejector seat oh, at the state oh, fair, God. along with four rules for what? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know you're a religious man. So you've got that. <laughs> oh, especially that day. Yep, yep. I was praying hard that day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a while, okay? All Thanks, right, Russell. Russell. That was a hard <laughs> one to scary. forget, man.
get here, we're going to be visiting with some other of our uh, favorite people and our favorite places. We'll be right back. And these places are our favorite places is the uh, people who are involved when we get there and such is the case with the uh, these guys because uh, they got a great business and they're just fun to hang out with take a look I think they watch a lot of ESPN 2 these guys at Mad Paddler's kayak and surf near Memorial and Hillsboro on Rocky Creek Drive one of our favorite places has taken on a new look Mad Paddler's has moved next door bigger more room more stuff was at the uh, Starfish Company, which is at the south end of 123rd Street in, the, uh, in Cortez, the sea, fishing village of Cortez, 941-794-1243. You saw the market there. They also have a great little restaurant here right out here on the dock, so you can come by. And uh, if you're just out in this way, it's fun. All right, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? What are we doing? Favorite splurges. Splurge. Oh, Splurge. Okay. Our favorite. Thank so, you, Russell. We'll see you tomorrow. A little confused? Maybe you need to check out what's going on in downtown St. Petersburg. Our Nancy Alexander is out there as your personal guide to the extreme trials. The St. Petersburg Pier has been invaded. If you see someone who looks like this, move slowly. They can sense fear. This is what they mean by X Games. Exciting, exhilarating, excruciating, extreme, which might cause you to look at the X and ask, why? Simple, because their parents can't. The X factor in the X Games is alternative. Alternative sports are ones that aren't really considered mainstream, although they're becoming more and more mainstream. Exactly, but there's more to it than that. There's the extreme soundtrack. Punk rock, uh, hip-hop, which a lot of people like to call rap, whatever. But uh, no techno, no country music, a little classic rock. We're good to go. Extreme hair. How does that sculpting gel hold up in the sun? <laughs> <laughs> when I, so if I skate all day, it comes out. Shelly, what do you call this? Uh, I call it my extreme do. Uh, we like to call it a shave with the long stuff. We like to call that a mullet. Short on top, long in the back. That's kind of like the professional wrestler haircut. Hockey hair, bi-level haircut. I would imagine your son is feeling lucky he doesn't have any hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's my thing, so, I don't know, it's just, it's interesting. I'm not, like, trying to be like anybody else. You tell him. I can't. And there's most definitely an extreme uniform. It looks like, from an outsider at least, that the pants are the most important thing. Well, me, when I skate in, when I don't skate in baggy pants, it's uncomfortable and harder to do tricks and stuff. All right, what's, what's the regulation? How much underwear are you allowed to have hanging out? Uh, I'd say about three inches. Yeah. Three inches, let's see. Three. What do you got going? I don't wear yeah. underwear. You know, you're, you're almost at the limit, though. Which all adds up to the extreme attitude. Why? What the X Games are not is expensive. All this fear is free. An extreme athlete considers scars stripes. Chicks just dig them. I don't know, pain's temporary and glory's forever. Rock on. It's a, a little smoky out mm -hmm. here today. You can certainly smell it. I, I don't know if it's any worse, though, than what you guys are experiencing um, over there this morning. It was something yesterday, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, it was bad thick. yesterday. Was hey, Annie, any time I must ask you a question, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. The, the movie trivia question we just did? Yeah. That was almost so easy it was a trick question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> almost. I know it. We were all out here trying to figure out what the name of that movie was. <laughs> yeah, it was um, right there for him. Hey, this is, the, uh, this is the City Pier in Bradenton Beach. We're going to be talking about this community during the 8 o'clock hour. And as you said, enjoying some food at one of the restaurants here. But uh, if you thought this was a, a sleepy little community, well, it is, and they try to keep it that way. But there are some uh, wonderful things happening here as well. And we will be uh, showing you that and talking about all of that coming up on a good day all at right. 8 o'clock. All right? Look forward to it. Thanks. All right. More of Good Day Tampa Bay. With the Florida up. Department of Transportation. Good Day Tampa Bay. We have a little bit of haze up there from the... Oh, beautiful. We're going to be telling you about this little community. You may not know too, uh, too much about it, but we'll uh, clear that up when Good Day continues. Stay with us. We'll be right back. It's of, uh, in the haze there, smoke we've had from fires, and Bradenton Beach is where the live shot comes to us from today. It's a smoky morning. Very nice.
Well, good day, Tampa Bay's Russell Rhodes has stumbled upon a little-known secret. He's spending the morning in a small beach town that's big on charm. Where in the world is Russell Rhodes? <laughs> <laughs> we should start doing that more often. Like somehow. We're, we're, in, we're, in, we're in Brendan Beach, now that you're asking. This is Connie Drescher, the former mayor of this town, and mm -hmm. seems to know a lot about the place. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, coming down Thank and spending you. time Thank with you. us. This is the, uh, the city pier here, and uh, of which you were uh, 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 you took a large part in, uh, in fixing up, didn't you? Well, the city was uh, lucky enough to get a grant to fix the pier up. This is the original road, first bridge to the island of Anna Maria. And uh, we've made it into a fishing pier, and a couple of years ago, we got a grant to fix it up. You were telling me earlier that uh, grants are what uh, what allows a town like this to, to thrive We have a very, continue. Bradenton Beach is a very small, laid-back beach town. And to get the money to do this, we have to rely on grants. And after they fixed the pier, we didn't have enough money to paint it. And so uh, I got a bunch of volunteers, and we painted the pier. Well, you did a fine yeah. job. It's, it's an absolutely beautiful pier. Um, in case people, folks don't know, we're on Anna Maria Island, and there are three communities on Anna That's Maria right. Island. There's Anna Maria, Holmes Beach, and at the south end is, uh, is Brandon, Brandon Beach. Beach. Yeah. And um, I guess maybe people have a picture in their mind of it being a sleepy little quiet place, and uh, that's okay with you. Absolutely. It? We're fighting high-rises. <laughs> um, when we, uh, when I go to the beach, I love to go to the beach and water, walk in the water. I see a lot of people from northern Clearwater, Tampa, and that. They love our beaches because they're so laid back. Our water is very clear, beautiful turquoise. Yeah, yeah, it is. And this is a lovely community here. We're going to be, uh, we, we came by yesterday and took some pictures. We're going to be showing you uh, this oh, beach good. area later on because mm -hmm. it really is absolutely extraordinary. Yeah. Now. You're not always from here, you told me. You, you weren't, you're not from here. What, what was it about this place, though, when you came here and you saw this place and all the other places I you I used to always chosen? vacation on the, other, on the other coast. Yeah. When we came here, I fell in love with it because it's so... A little town uh, atmosphere, beautiful beaches, and I knew I wanted to live on the beach. Yeah, and is. Coquina Beach, the beach in uh, Radington Beach, is the largest county beach here. It's over a mile, and it's gorgeous. Yeah, it is, and that's the one we're yeah. going to be showing you in a while. Hey, thank you. Thanks for your time this You're morning. You're very welcome. And again, congratulations on this beautiful pier. When we come thank back you. in a while, there's a great restaurant here. Be sampling a little of the uh, fair there and uh, showing you Brendan Beach, because it really is something. I, and I had never seen it at all until yesterday, and I'm glad we discovered it. Okay, guys? All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks, Russell. We want to send our best friend who's hoping for some of the spoils, I guess you would say. 72 degrees. It is 817 right now. Some of a lawnmower. That's all I can say. John, come here and look at these. Exactly. The, the Bridge Street Pier and Cafe is, is where we're doing things this morning. This is Georgia Meyer, your place. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Good to see you. You've got a great place here. Congratulations. Thank you very and everything. much. Uh, guys, Joy, I know it. I hate doing this to you at this point in the show because I know that, you know, oh, you're, you're winding oh, down. Man. and It's almost all over. But look what she's done Wait a minute. here. What's that little frozen drink there? Was this it? is not a little frozen oh, drink. Oh, this okay. is a little fresh squeezed okay. grapefruit juice. It looks juice. like. But look <laughs> at this, though. This, this, is what, this is what I'm digging most of all right now. Oh, yeah. What, this like is a milkshake. Milk. Ho they're homemade chocolate milk. That they oh, oh, yum. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, George, what, what have you put out here for us? This would be? That's your Western omelet. My Western omelet. <laughs> Spanish this... omelet. Yeah. Your Spanish Look at omelet. Grit. She brought grits out just for me because she thought I was a grits kind of guy. That's a homemade blueberry pancake. Which is the thing that, that apparently... That is our number one that's, seller. That's the signature dish? Fresh blueberries. What are you having? Um, this is a short stack. Mm. And... That is here. homemade French toast. Wow. Thanks a lot, Russell. You're I mean, welcome. If I had known, I would have uh, yeah, right. baked the cake. It's a long way. I mean, it's not just... just a, hey, look at, but besides all of this, besides all this, tell, me about, tell them about the grouper special. I love that. We are noted for the all-you-can-eat grouper. Um, we serve it seven days a week. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it's $12.95. Um, but that's what put us on the map. When you we say all-you-can-eat grouper, what do you mean? Um, it's all-you-can-eat till you fall over. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, grilled, blackened, or fried. Really? It's served with um, garlic mashed potatoes, green beans, um, or a choice of rice or, and homemade coleslaw. Yeah, I got a bunch of fat friends who would put you out of business with, that, with something like <laughs> bring that. Them but over. Th bring them over. All right, bring cool. Them over. Hey, uh, when we come back, we're going to show you a little bit of Braden Beach because I have a feeling a lot of folks have not ever seen this community. Um, and uh, if they were trying to keep it quiet, we're going to take care of that this morning. Well, thank okay. you. Hey, thank you for everything. Thank you. Guys, we'll, mm, we'll see you in a few there minutes. There goes right. the blueberry pancakes. Yum. Mm -hmm. Good. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's cruel. It that is. is just downright mean, cruel and Russell. unusual. I ought to be it that way. What we have in this community and what we've had in the years past, so, so that uh, 
we don't become um, a Longbow Key or, or um, a Clearwater. Uh, the, they're great communities, but that's not what we're about. We're about, we're, we just want that old Florida residential type feeling here in Bradenton Beach. Off Coquina Beach, you can see some of the most beautiful blue water you'll see anywhere. Hard to believe that we're just an hour away from Tampa. Across the street at Lefis T, the Coquina Bay Walk, a protected habitat for fish and wildlife, and a great place for school kids to come and learn about their area. Then there's Bridge Street, some great old businesses here, which leads you to the Bradenton Beach City Pier. What once was the bridge to the mainland is now a fishing pier, and the view across to Cortez is something to behold. Recently, Bradenton Beach was given scenic highway status as the people of this town continue to try and maintain that old Florida feel here. The designation from the State Department of Transportation should help them achieve those goals. The community has decided that they want, you know, they need bike paths, they need sidewalks, they'd love to have landscaping. Um, uh, uh, just a lot of community projects that they'd like to see come out of the program. All of this is not to say that Bradenton Beach is stuck in the past. It's a thriving place. They even have a roundabout here. Smaller than the one we're accustomed to hearing about, but for our money, a whole lot easier to make it around and then get to the beach. Hey, if you want any information about Bradenton Beach, you can call on 941-778-1005. Truly a lovely place. I can't go without saying Larry Tao behind the camera this morning. Jason's taking a few days off. Oh, he did hello, good Larry. his first day out. Thank you, Larry. You guys, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. Thanks, Thanks, Russell. See you later. Tough to come home from the quiz. And Larry, you're absolutely correct. Good job. And uh, that really is uh, Emmy-winning weather video for sure.